Hello, fellow open spokes people. I'm glad to be here sharing about how I learn. And one thing I've been learning is how to vlog. And so I've done this in sections this time to try to think my way through. Well, I'm curious. I start wondering about things. And then when I decide I want to learn something, I just dig in. I do research on it. I take notes. I listen to people. I ask other people what they know about it. I do something. I ask people how, how it looks. What do you think? Am I doing it? I'm rather a perfectionist, so when I start to share, I like to think I've got some parts of it right. So that's important to my learning. But I'm not so much a perfectionist that I don't just say, hey, I've got this down and I, I can share this. I can take a class online like Classroom 2.0 Saturday mornings at 9 o'clock. And at first I just listened, then I discovered the chat, and I found out that I could add ideas. And then it became less of me being a perfectionist and more of me um, participating and sharing ideas, getting feedback that way. So the technology has allowed me to participate more fully than I would before. And however, not as much as some people do, because in reality, I am extremely shy. The Blackboard Illuminate session where everything is inviting, the speaker's presenting on the side, people are chatting and adding their ideas. I can participate in that and see when I can offer help and I can ask questions of those who know more than I do. So it really becomes the idea that um, sometimes I get to be a helper and sometimes I get to ask for help. And technology has helped me be a better um, learner. I'm really more of a writer and I am a vlogger, but writing helps me clarify what I'm thinking and what I'm learning. So that's how I learn. I'm curious. I dive in and find as many resources I, as I can. I wonder about it. I try to do something with it to make sure I've got it and I might share. And it's a lot easier for me to share ideas with technology. It just seems like you can change it. Like it, it's not like a hard copy all the time. It's something that's a living idea that can change over time. It, no matter what I'm learning, I can become better at it or change the direction. Finally, I'd like to say that how I learn has helped me with my teaching. I've always been very reflective and I've expected that of my students. Because I'm curious about so many things and learn based on my interests, that has helped me connect with my students and what they're interested in. And now with Genius Hour, that's even a more concrete way to help students engage and learn what they're curious about. I'm able to help my uh, perfectionist students because I have a slight tendency that way. And I also understand the social aspect that learning in a team at school with my colleagues or learning online with others, um, getting that feedback and working together and collaborating really solidifies learning. And I know that I've learned because I, whatever it is I want to do, I'm doing it. So it becomes application. And I think that understanding how I learn helps me understand how my students learn. Thank you.